No person has prompted more complaints to the wave troubleshooters than Gary Thompson, more notably known as the bogus beggar for his fake mental disability act that we expose and then got him sent to prison for almost four years. Good evening and thanks for joining us here on Wave News at 6. I'm Myra Ansari. I'm John Bull. We've been swamped with complaints about him again after he wasn't heard from for a long time. So what's going on? Some answers right now in our latest Troubleshooter exclusive. You had him on page, John. Okay, so part part of the complaints are that you're doing this mentally ill thing again. Mentally ill, I'm sure I'm do to you, John. Gary Thompson doesn't like talking to me anymore. To understand why, we have to go back to 2014. I appreciate you guys busting me. <laughs> yeah, I'm really good at it, really good. I clear about $100,000 a year doing this. While Lexington police held a press conference to warn people about a guy faking a mental disability act to rake in big bucks, that guy was demonstrating it right outside. My, my bead, bead, bead boy, I'm just playing. I got to go, y'all. I got to make some money. He was jailed and chased out of places all around Kentucky, earning the nickname the bogus beggar. Whenever I ask you for money, I won't act mental. And then I spotted him in Louisville. He seemed to be okay when no one was looking, so I put on a hidden camera and tried to walk by. Please help but save my, my wheelchair today and all my coins. Somebody take it. You fell out of your wheelchair today? Yeah, my need to get butt spare, get back home. What is your name? My name is Gary David. Gary Davis? Nice to meet you. When I pulled out a visible camera, everything changed. Uh, you're really Gary Thompson. No. Yeah, yeah. I'm, my name is John Ball with Wave. Been watching you. You're the guy, you're the bogus beggar guy that makes $100,000 a year, right? No. Yeah, yeah, you are. You, you, got, you got a degree in speech pathology? No. And you're able to change your voice? I've seen all the stories on you. That is a lie. Gary, I know what your deal is now. Let's just be real here, okay? I'm not doing no deal. Leave me off camera. I don't uh, want to be on it. Don't you feel bad doing this, faking it like this when there are real people I'm out here? I'm not faking nothing. After that report, the feds started investigating Gary Thompson, and soon he would plead guilty to falsely representing his mental condition in order to collect $106,000 in disability and Medicaid benefits over four years. The judge tacked on 15 more months to the plea agreement for a total of 42 months. When he got out, guess what he went back to doing? And guess who put on a disguise and hidden camera again? Mom, we like a big red and two dollars for bus fare, please. Two dollars for bus fare? A uh, dollar fifty there and a dollar fifty back, so that makes two dollars, right? A dollar fifty and a dollar fifty. How much that equals? Uh, Three dollars. The Mental Disability Act changed when I pulled out another camera again. You're still faking your condition, embellishing your condition. No, sir, I'm not. No, I'm not conditioned. Well, when I first walked up on you, you had you kind of had your voice changed. Yeah, I have I have personality, different personalities at times. The doctor tells me. What do you say to people who say you're you you didn't learn anything in prison? You're still faking your condition. That, that, that they're liars. I'm not faking any condition. But isn't that what you were convicted of, of faking your condition with the, no. getting government money? I pled guilty, yes. What are you going to do next? Try to get a job somewhere and do the right thing and straighten my life up. But Gary Thompson didn't straighten his life up. For all the people who've asked me whatever happened to the bogus beggar, I discovered he wound up jailed here at Metro Corrections for most of this year after a stabbing melee at a Third Street apartment. The police report charging him with two counts of assault notes in an argument over some cigarettes that reminded him of an eight ball of cocaine and $65 he lost earlier. Thompson struck the victim with his fist, stood up from his wheelchair and attempted to stab victim one. Victim number two was also stabbed in the torso. Then Thompson stabbed himself, saying he wanted to die. After a psychiatric evaluation, Thompson was found competent for trial. Then in July, he pleaded guilty got probation, got back out on the streets of Louisville, and I immediately started getting complaints ranging from the same old act to an attempted jewelry theft at a local mall. So I put on another disguise and a hidden camera, and he tries to get my attention as I walk by him on 4th Street. I can't hear you, what? The law is ours. The Lord is ours? The law. The law is ours? What do you mean? He's mumbling incoherently like a person with mental illness. What do you mean the law is ours? The law is ours.
Everything changes when he figures out who I am. Are you John Bowl? Yes. You got, you got a hidden camera? Hey, Gary. When I come back with a cameraman, a Thompson is perturbed. Do you know why people would be calling me to complain about you? I think I have an idea. You have an idea? You. What's that? I'm homeless and I'm hungry. You're homeless and hungry? And I asked for food, yeah. And I asked for money for food. Yes. Do that in my face, John. Okay, so part, part of the complaints are that you're doing this mentally ill thing again. I mean, mentally ill. I'm sure what I'm going to do to you, John. What's that? I'm sure what I'm going to do to you, John. The microphone disabled. The interview over. But the cash keeps coming. In a letter he wrote to Wave maintaining his innocence, Thompson writes, Please do not refer to me as the bogus beggar in this broadcast. P.S. Benjamin Franklin once quipped, It is better a hundred guilty persons escape than one innocent person should suffer. Now, a lot of people don't realize panhandling is legal after a Kentucky Supreme Court decision in 2017 that ruled begging is protected free speech. Louisville has an ordinance prohibiting panhandling in a roadway or on a median, though. Well, if you have a tip for the Wave troubleshooters, send them in. Just go to the Troubleshooters tab on Wave3.com and fill out the submission form. In just 11 days, voters can...